Hi, welcome to this tutorial about Banktree Personal Finance, version 3. In this tutorial, I will talk to you about screen layouts. When you first open the Banktree software, you are presented with this screen layout, with the accounts bar on the left, the account transaction on the right, and the schedules and reminders on the bottom. The accounts bar lists all your accounts, starting with your cash accounts, then investments, and then reports. The accounts bar shows the totals for each of your accounts, and it shows the grand total or net total right at the bottom. You can collapse the accounts bar in various stages. In this first stage, you can hide the totals. In the next stage, you can completely hide the accounts bar. To bring the accounts bar back, you click on this button here. The accounts bar also has various options for displaying your accounts. If you right click on the accounts bar, the following options are displayed. We will go through in some detail in other tutorials what these options mean. Let's now have a look at the account transaction section, otherwise known as the account register. The account register will list all the transactions for the selected account. So, in this example, I have selected the cash account and all these transactions for that cash account are listed. The default view is that the cash account transactions are listed in date order. However, you can change the order by clicking on any of the column headers. For example, you can sort by payee. All the transactions are displayed by default. Again, you can change this to whatever suits you. You can set the time span to current month, last three months, current year, or last year, or even all dates and custom dates. If you select custom dates, you get the opportunity to put in your own date range. You can also resize the column headers by dragging them to the left or to the right, or double click on them to resize them to the maximum width of the text. You can also hide or show columns. If you right click on the column header, you can hide, for example, the flag column or show the account column. You can fit the screen to match your needs. So, if there is a column you are not going to use, like, I'm not going to use the description, it can be hidden. You can also move columns around. So, for example, I want to put the payee after the category. I can click and drag the payee column and drop it after the category column. I can also reset the columns back to how they were originally set up just by selecting Reset Columns. On this screen, there is also the facility to do a text search, which does a search across amounts for all text values. So, for example, if I do a search for number 15, it finds all matching entries. If I do a text search for grocer, it finds all matching entries where there is a grocer in either the payee, category, payment or description. This will work within the splits as well. It will find the parent record. To reset the search, I delete the text and press enter to reset it. When entering a new transaction, you have the option of entering transactions from either the top of the grid, which is first line entry at the top, or from the bottom of the grid, which is last line entry at the bottom. Here it is, white and blue. You can hide this so it's all white. You can hide the grid so you just have the white space without any grid being shown. You can show closed accounts if your accounts are set to closed. You can show or hide closed positions. 
This is to do with your shares. You can also hide the show linked accounts. This account, the investments cash, is linked to the investment account and so can be hidden. At the bottom of the screen, where you have the schedules, you can increase or decrease the size of the schedule. So, if you click on the grey separator bar, the split icon appears so you can drag the screen up or down. So, if you had a long list of schedules that you wanted to enter, you could maximise that screen. If you want to hide the schedules, you can hide them completely. You can also tab to the reminders. I will talk about this when I go through schedules. For the investments, the views options are slightly different. In investments, you have got the summary of the investment on the summary tab, which is shown at the start. Clicking on the chart icon will allow you to see any charts that are available based on the downloaded prices. When you click on the transaction tab, this will mirror the same functionality of account transactions you had for the cash account. You can perform various actions like move columns around. There is a download button which will allow you to download all the prices for your securities. So if you click on that now, it downloads the latest prices for all your securities. By selecting a different security here, a different chart will be shown. Also, for each security, I can choose to look at its transaction history. I have transactions for Microsoft, but none for Apple. Going back to the investment summary, you can see that the latest price for Microsoft is used to calculate the investment value. It has gone up to 40.01. Moving to reports. The reports will show a chart at the top and the report details at the bottom. If you right click on the selected report menu, you can choose between show chart, show report and show both of them. You can also click on these buttons here to show just the chart or just the report. We will look into reports into a lot more detail in the reports tutorial. But there is a lot of filters you can apply to these reports, like accounts, securities, payees, categories, payments and keywords. Depending on which report you are viewing, there are also different charts available. In this example, you can see bar charts. Column charts. and pie charts. Pie charts are dynamic as you can move the piece of the pie to get a better view. I can also rotate the chart and pull it apart. If I right click on the chart I get the menu option to enable rotation which means I can rotate the chart. This can help when viewing. As you see, Banktree Personal Finance has plenty of configuration options for you. I hope you have enjoyed the Banktree tutorial on screen layout. This is the end of the tutorial. Bye for now.